Hello dear viewer, I have a little mod review for you. I found a mod which deserves to be played more, judging by the number of downloads at least. The Yellow King is a single dungeon adventure with unique backstory, unique enemy powers, challenging boss fight, unique loot reward and amazing atmosphere. The atmosphere is what convinced me to try it out. Just looking at the screenshot was a little bit of an experience, it, it did something to me. And the emphasis on the mood is even more obvious once you appreciate the modest choice of background music that plays in the dungeon. It's the one from Soul Cairn, the vanilla music, but rarely used outside of that one location. It really does does things to me too. But well, <clears throat> let's let's talk about the mod itself. The Yellow King is a uh, like an unmarked quest leading to a single well-designed dungeon. The kind of mod I would love to see more of, to be honest. You can find the dungeon yourself. It is located south of Dragonbridge, a few steps west from Robber's Gorge. You can also get the map marker by reading a new book about the Yellow King, which you can find in one of the houses in Dragon's Bridge. The book itself is carefully written and almost free of typos, which is not that common in small mods like this. It is actually good enough to get you interested in finding the location. It even has passages in dragon language. Very immersive, much appreciated. Uh, caution, there are spoilers, of course, from this moment forward uh, up until the end, pretty much. Once you arrive at the ruin, you will discover that there is Thalmor using slave work to dig and uncover the entrance. Luckily, the entrance is already uncovered when you arrive, then you enter, and at first it does look like just a huge empty Nordic ruin. Only when you get to the throne room you will realize something much more sinister is going on. On a body of a Thalmor Justiciar, you will find his journal explaining gruesome details of his research party's fate. It hints strongly at an obsession with greed and gold that clouded his mind before death. Now, when you touch the golden statue of the Yellow King sitting on the throne, the actual fun will begin. Everything will become darker and the Draugr of the location will be awakened. Uh, they are unique Draugr, who steal your gold and gold ingots and a few other gold items, I believe. And when they no longer have anything golden to steal, they start absorbing your health. It is in this moment you realize why the modder left plenty of gold ingots and items all around the dungeon. Before you crawl back to the surface, you will grab them rather obsessively to protect your HP. Very cool mechanics of making your character obsessed with greed too. Some Draugr won't even move, they just stare with their gold yellow hued light beams coming out of their eyes and absorbing your gold or health whenever you get too close. In almost complete darkness, uh, so torches and all kinds of light spells are advised. To beat the dungeon you must first find the two Yellow King's sons, who are quite challenging by themselves. With the keys uh, you got from them, you need to reach the hall where the king himself and his battle mage await you. Keep in mind that I played this dungeon through with a high level character specialized in fighting the undead, and I still needed at least a pause uh, to think and uh, you know recuperate from time to time. After a rather challenging combat, you will be rewarded with a unique loot, a golden shield and a golden sword with an enchantment working exactly like the power of the gold-cursed Draugr of this place. If there is any mod that should be allowed to add ridiculous things like a golden sword, it's, it's this one. I think you can tell I really like this little adventure. It offers about an hour of gameplay, if you read all the book that is. It is unique and interesting while staying consistent with the rest of Skyrim. It seems worth playing through just for the sake of the atmosphere alone and it offers a unique reward. What else would you want from a single standalone dungeon mod like this? It would be rather cool to have more Nordic ruins like this in the game. 
You see, I think the Nordic ruins are fun, but there is so many of them that they unavoidably start feeling rather samey after a while. Imagine how fun it would be if we had like 15 completely unique Nordic dungeons with their own Draugr variants, their own unique backstories and atmospheres and their own unique loot. I would probably cry if someone made a mod like that, like, like tears of joy would flow down my face and soak my shirt for hours, I would look completely pathetic, but that is probably everything I have to say for now about this one, it's a very nice mod, link in the description, leave a like, subscribe for more, have loads of fun in your game, and we will see each other again, bye bye.